Good morning, this is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Everyday Sunday. Uh, it's Monday morning. I hope that you uh, joined us or someone yesterday and you were a part of the local church. Whether in person or online, I want to encourage you to get connected. Uh, and I want to just challenge you, if you are in the Arab or Holly Pond area, or if you're watching me online today, we are getting ready to launch our fall small groups. Uh, and this is a great opportunity for you to connect. And so we have uh, 28 in-person groups and we have three groups that are totally online uh, through Zoom calls and Facebook uh, rooms, a lot of opportunities for you to connect. So if you're joining us anywhere in the nation or the world, we'd love for you to get connected to one of our online groups. And if you're in the a Rab or Holly Pond area, we'd love for you to get connected uh, to one of our in-person small groups that are going to be starting up here in just a couple weeks. You can go to libertychurchcampuses.com, find out more information. Well, today I want to share with you a message this Monday morning uh, entitled Revelation and repentance, revelation and repentance. We're going to look in the book of Job. Uh, the book of Job, if you uh, uh, remember the little story of a guy, he said that uh, he was struggling one day. He had lost his job and he didn't know what to do. Uh, and so he opened the Bible up and he turned to the book called Job uh, to see if he could find some work. And uh, so uh, it's not Job, it's Job. And so today we're going to look at the book of Job, uh, one of the most amazing stories in scripture. Uh, and it really gives us some amazing insight into a lot of things that are happening. And I'm not going to try to unpackage the whole book of Job, but at the end of the story of Job's life or Job's story in the book, um, Job has had this encounter with God uh, and the Lord has confronted him and the Lord has revealed himself to him in a way beyond anything Job ever imagined. And Job makes a statement in Job 42, verse five and six. He says, I had only heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I had only heard about you but now I've seen you. And then look at verse six. I take back everything I said, and I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. Here's what I believe today. I believe that every time we get a revelation of God, Job said, I've heard about you, but now I've seen you. Think about that. Uh, how many times have we heard the word? How many times have we heard about God? And then we've had those moments where what we heard, we actually saw. The revelation came. The word revelation literally means to unveil. It means to bring out of the dark. It means to bring and make visible. So when something is revealed, it goes from being hidden or a mystery to being clear in front of our face. And Job said, God, that's what happened. He said, I'd heard about you. I knew about you, but now I have seen you. And when I've seen you, look what his response was. He said, I take back everything I said. I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. Why? Because revelation brings repentance. When we see God, when the veil is removed, hear this, when the veil is removed off of our eyes, our hearts are changed. There's nothing like a revelation from God. And when you get a revelation of his word and all of a sudden what you've heard and maybe what you've read a hundred times, a thousand times, all of a sudden becomes clear and you see God, you see him, you see his word, you see his truth. It changes your life. Why? Because revelation produces repentance. To repent is to change your mind. I love when you break the word down, re and pent. It literally means to return to the high place. What does repentance do? It causes us to return to that place of intimacy. It causes us to return to the place of being seated with Christ. It raises us up into a place where we begin to live our lives uh, from the highest level. And so I want to just challenge you today. When we see God for who he is, listen to this. When we see God for who he is, we change the way we think about God and about life. And I love the immediate result of Job's revelation. He said, God, I'd heard about you, but now I've seen. This is what he said. And I take back everything I said. I take back everything I said. I believe one of the greatest fruits of revelation. One of the greatest fruits of revelation. How do I know uh, that I've had a revelation? Well, the greatest fruit of revelation is repentance. And let me just break it down like this. When we see him for who he is, two things happen. Job said, I take back everything I said. The first thing that happens is we stop accusing God. See, whenever I get a revelation of who he is, I repent. <laughs> I change the way I think about God and about life. And all of a sudden I realize uh, that I'm going to take back everything that I've said about God. I'm going to stop accusing God of being unfair or unjust. I recently saw a Facebook post from an individual who was going through a traumatic time and they made this statement, God is judging the wrong people. 
And when I read that statement, my heart broke. Why? My heart broke because I knew something about that person, even though I don't know them. I knew that they did not have a clear revelation of God. I knew that they did not see him for who he is as a loving father that is fighting for us, not trying to judge and condemn us. And so when we get a revelation, the fruit of revelation is repentance. And all of a sudden, I stop accusing God of being unjust and unfair, of being evil or wicked. I stop accusing God of judging me and trying to destroy me. And all of a sudden, not only do I stop accusing him, but it even comes more personal. I stop accusing God and then I stop excusing myself. It is so amazing. It is so amazing how that during the traumatic, traumatic, uh, during the traumatic uh, times of our lives, I'm going to repeat there, during the traumatic and uh, trauma times of our life, it's amazing how we accuse God. And then it's also amazing at the same time that we're accusing God of judging us or being unfair or unjust, we excuse ourselves of all the poor choices and decisions that many times have led to the circumstances that we're facing. Many times I am reaping the harvest of the decisions that I've sown, and it's so easy in blindness and deception to accuse God of being evil and excuse myself for the unrighteous or ungodly decisions that I've made. So the fruit of repentance, the fruit of revelation is repentance. And all of a sudden I change the way I think. I stop accusing God. I stop excusing myself and I run to him because he wants to redeem me. When you read the end of the story, God restores Job. Why? Because the heart of God is not our destruction. The heart of God is our restoration. I wanna close with this prayer that I prayed over my family this morning in my quiet time. So I want you to just join me. I want to just pray this over you today. So Father, open our eyes. Open our eyes to see you. Remove the blinders and the deception. Peel back the curtain, God, and let us see. Let us see you and your word with clarity and truth. Forgive us for accusing you, God, of being unjust or unfair. Forgive us for excusing our own foolish choices and decisions. Lead us and guide us into all truth. Father, we repent. We repent. Change us. Transform us more and more into your image. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today as you get a revelation, and when that revelation produces repentance, and we are changed in Jesus' name.